George Floyd and the struggle for equality. This black death breathes in lungs, song, innocuous as sound waves a fresh body of water makes passing through thick time, ragged time at the base of the blue-black volcanic Atlantic where eight minutes and 46 seconds last roughly 400 years. In this beginning, this descent, there is a darkness that moves. George, whose name meant work the earth, was dead the day I finished these songs and I sat down again. Bach once said, I have enough. Why else is the black box in the score called a rest, an uprising under the pressure of hands played again in this our inglorious spot, the blue on black on asphalt black, the auction block's chromatic scale. How much does our capital weigh? How much for a cigarette bought so a man can breathe smoke like a man? If we must die, we know by now the dogs, the blooded bark and knotted rope, but what do we know of knees? The arc of history is long enough to bend, swing low and break on the neck of a man in Minneapolis who called for his mama, mama, I'm okay. I'll be okay. This thin blue line around my neck is minor, blood bound to its beating but because it takes a heck of a lot of oxygen to talk.
Yeah. So I'll tell you a quick story. Um, as I was working on this album, Black Book, if you haven't got it, please go on Spotify. Please go on Apple Music. It's called Black Book. It's by Black Bach. You should listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> but um, initially, we talked about doing 10 songs. And when song number 10 was done, we experienced the tragedy, the murder of George Floyd. And um, under some very important advice, um, I was told to tell my story here. I wanted to go protest, but this is my protest. You just listen to my protest. And I think that's a be much better, much beautiful way of presenting how I feel on a topic as deep as this. So that is George Floyd and the struggle for equality.